Hello friends in this video we are going to learn to how to delete data from my SQL database table and code igniter framework. In previous video we have discussed how to fetch data from my SQL database table and display that data on web page in code igniter framework. In this video we will add one more table column and in that column we will add delete link. When user click on that link, then it will ask you are you sure you want to delete this data. If user click on OK button then after data will be deleted but suppose it click on cancel button then no action will be performed and data will not delete from table. In previous video we have show testing database and in that we have one table user with three column like it first name and last name. We will delete data from this table and code igniter framework. In previous video we have show how to make database connection in code igniter framework. For database connection we have go to config folder and in that folder we have to make database connection in database.php by writing database configuration like host name, username, password and database and then after we can make database connection in code igniter framework. Now we have start writing code for delete data from database and code igniter framework. First we have to add one more table column and table for putting delete link. So for this we have go to views folder main view file and then after add one more table heading column with text delete. Then after we have add dynamic delete link so for we have go to 4 inch loop and one more open and close table data and between this table data tag we have write anchor tag with attribute ref is equal to hashtag class is equal to delete data and it is equal to open and close php tag and between this tag we have write echo statement with dollar row variable with objective and text of anchor tag write delete. This way we have defined dynamic delete link and in this link we have write class is equal to delete data. We will use this class name and query code as selector and from it we have store it of user and we will get user ID from this it attribute in query code. Now we have add Google CD and query link for use query on this page. We have put query CD and link between script tag. After putting this link we can add jQuery on this page. Then after we have write jQuery code for delete data, jQuery code writing between open and close script tag and between this tag we have write dollar with delete data class name as jQuery selector with click event with anonymous function. In this function first we have write variable id is equal to dollar this selector with attribute id. We have store user id into anchor tag id attribute. So we have get user id from anchor tag attribute id and store into this jQuery id variable. After this we have write if statement with confirm with message like are you sure you want to delete this. This code will produce confirm alert box with this message and two button link OK and cancel. If you use click on OK button then it will execute if block of code and otherwise it will execute else block of code. Suppose use click on OK button then page must be redirect to page where we have write delete data code. For page redirect we have write window dot location is equal to open and close and between we have write echo statement with base URL function and then after we have write main controller slash delete data function slash it variable in which we have store user ID. This will redirect to this URL in which base URL function will return base URL of our code igniter application which we have defined config.php page and then after main is the name of controller and delete data is the function name which we will define into main controller and it is the argument of this delete data function. Suppose user click on cancel button then no action will be performed. So we have write return statement with boolean false. If user click on cancel button then after no action will be performed by code igniter application.
Now friends we have moved to main controller file and on that controller first we have write public function with name like delete data function. This way we have defined delete data function on this main controller. Then after in this function we have first write dollar it variable is equal to dollar this would re class object or with segment function with argument 3. Here third segment is the id variable in which we have pass user id, from second segment we can get this controller function name delete data and from first segment we can get the name of controller which is main. So from third segment we can get this user id and store into this id variable. Now we want to load main model into this delete data function. So for this we have write dollar this with loading class object load with model function with one argument which is name of model you want to load. Here we want to load main model so we have write main model. This will load main model into this function. Then after we want to call model function delete data function with one argument dollar id. So for calling model function we have write dollar this with main model name with model function delete data with one argument dollar id. This function we will create into main model and this will delete user data from which we have it pass into this function. If user data has been removed from table, so page must be redirect to main controller page with HTML form with data deleted message. So for this we have write redirect function with one argument in which we have write URL from where we want to redirect page. Here we want to redirect to base URL function with controller name slash deleted function. This function will redirect to this URL. After data deleted then page redirect to main controller's deleted function. So first we have defined deleted function and in this function we want to load views main view file which is we have already load into this index function. So we have directly called index function here. So for this we have write dollar this with index function. This function will be called into this deleted function and it will load views main view page on browser and it will display data deleted message. Now we have moved to models folder main model for defining delete data function with one argument. So here we have write function with delete data function with one argument like dollar id. In this argument we will pass user id for delete data from table. This id we will get from controller. After defining delete data function, in this function we have write dollar this with database class object db with where function with two argument. In first argument we have write table column name which is id and in second argument we have to define value of first argument. We will get value from dollar id argument of this delete data function. Then after we have write dollar this with database class object db with delete function with one argument and in this argument we have to define table name from which you want to delete data. We want to delete data from user table. So we have writ table user. This code will delete query like this and execute this delete query and data will be removed from table. Now our code is ready for remove data from MySQL database in Code Igniter framework application. So we have saved this code on check output in browser. Friends you can see that we can see that data into table format with one more table column with delete link. When we have click on delete link, it has asked us are you sure you want to delete this data. Suppose we have click on cancel button, then no action has been performed. But when we have again click on delete link it again ask us and we have click on OK button then user data has been removed and it is also removed from this table. That means our code is working for delete data from database in Code Igniter framework. So friends in this video tutorial we have add one more table column into table data for delete data. Then after we have add jQuery link into main view page for using jQuery code on this page and then after we have write jQuery code for making confirm message box when user click on delete link. 
so when user click on OK button then after data page has been redirect the controller function with one argument and then after from that controller function we have called model function and pass argument to model function which it has been received from view and model function has been removed particular it data from table. So for delete data, first user send request it to view and from view it send request it to controller and controller send request to model and then after data has been removed from table. So this way code igniter model view controller framework has been worked for delete data. If you like this video tutorial on delete data from MySQL database and code igniter framework, please share this video tutorial with your friends or even you can also share on social media also. Friends you want to get more update of my video, so, friends you can subscribe my YouTube channel. Friends you can also like my Facebook page also or you can also follow Webs Listen on Twitter.